Hello everybody and welcome to your next C++ Elego 5 platformer tutorial. So in this tutorial we're going to try and get our menu up and running. So we've attempted to try and load everything in. Uh, don't know if everything's going to work correctly yet but uh, we will see by the end of this tutorial. So now let's get our unload content. Um, let's see, we need to AL destroy our font. Our font that we load in, AL destroy. I would even destroy bitmaps from before. So we need to go. Uh, what what we should do from now, uh, for now for our splash screen. Um, we have the amount of. So we're we're gonna say that images no, uh, AL destroy bitmap images I. Okay, and for menu manager, we also got to say for the amount of images we have, uh, menu images, dot size, uh, AL destroy, bitmaps, bitmap, and menu images I. Okay, so we've done that and for animation so we didn't even we we got to add one more thing now so we got to add another string and we'll just add it here so animation types okay so uh, before that we'll say that if else if attributes IJ equals animation uh, let's see uh animation types is equal to no actually we gotta instead of making a general string we gotta make it a vector uh so we'll say std vector std string animation types so animation types are push back and contents ij okay so we've uh, we've got that stuff um, down packed so we've loaded the animations and for that we gotta have um, two we gotta say animation dot size for int j so that's an animation i dot size and we have to say anim uh, delete animation ij and we'll set uh, then after that we'll set say animation dot clear okay so let us uh, get into the uh, update uh, allegro event ev and uh, draw and we have our Allegro display okay so we got that set up but uh, there's there's a few there's a few other things that we got to set up first so we got to have some private methods so uh, let's create them right now so our private uh, methods are gonna be uh, um, uh, set menu items uh, and set animation and uh, so let's create them right here we'll create them at the top and we'll say void menu manager set menu items so we want our our menu items and um, our menu images and menu items to be uh, equal right whether we have nothing for them or if we do we just want them to be equal uh, so how we're gonna do that is this we're gonna say i is less than menu items dot count i mean that size i plus plus so we're gonna say that if menu images dot size uh is equal to i uh then we're gonna say that or was, yeah we're gonna say that menu images dot add uh, push back and we'll say no 
and then we're gonna have another for loop I just some menu images dot size uh, I plus plus and we're gonna say that if menu this time we're checking for menu items so if menu items dot size is equal to I then menu items dot push back and we'll put a null string in there okay so we got that set up and now for our animation so set animations so we're gonna say that uh, for let's see uh, so we can loop through either the uh, menu items or uh, the menu images that count it doesn't matter which type we have right that's why we, we set this right and then we'll have a nested loop that will loop through the animation types uh, that size and I don't know what went wrong okay I think I might have put the function wrong set animations okay Uh, I'm not really sure what I did set animations okay let me just build this okay I'll I'll figure out this problem after uh, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna say that uh, if animation Mission types i j no j is equal to fade cut we only have one animation right now but anyways uh we we would say that uh animation dot actually we need to have a temp animation okay i paused the video and i don't know where um if i resumed or not but anyways um so the error was uh, void menu manager set animations. That's what it should be. Uh, but I don't know what's going on. Let's build this and let's see if it changes anything. Hmm. Oh, I spelled manager wrong okay so everything's set so now we're gonna have a for loop and I'll say uh, less than menu items dot size or we can use menu images if you like and we'll have we'll say J's animation types uh, dot size and we'll increment that so we'll say if animation types uh, J is equal to fade, and then we're going to we're going to need a um, we're going to need a temp animation. So uh, we'll say std str uh, std vector, and we'll say animation, and we'll temp animation. Okay, and make sure there's a pointer to it. So we'll say temp animation uh, dot push back, and we'll say new fade animation. So uh, we'll say that uh, hmm, we'll say that a temp animation. Uh, temp animation uh, dot size minus one load content and for the image we put in menu images so this is a, a, a really good reason why because even if we have a null image or not uh, we can still put it in there uh, same for the menu items menu items I and for a position we'll just put a quick uh, no we'll put in the position that we loaded in 
okay so we, we put that stuff in there and then after this for loop we'll say animation dot pushback temp animation okay and then after we'll say uh what should we say we should delete the we should delete the memory actually we'll delete it after right so we'll just say temp animation dot clear okay and we delete it in our unload content right so uh yeah so we set our uh, animations like we were supposed to uh, so all we have to do is in our load content method or uh, we just have to add those in so set menu items and set animations uh, set menu items set animations so I'm gonna end that tutorial here and we'll continue where we left off next tutorial so thanks for watching and bye